This advisory panel makes a series of important reform recommendations, but today I'm going to choose to focus on five. First, replace the current DOT board with a fiscal control and management board made up of five members, three appointed by the governor and one each nominated by the Speaker of the House and the Senate President. The governor appoints a chief administrative officer to lead the T who reports to the control board. Second, build a firewall between the operating and the capital budgets and construct one and five year plans for each. Third, construct and enforce productivity and performance metrics and manage to them all the time. Fourth, assess the T's most urgent capital and infrastructure needs, authorize a capital appropriation to fund them, and then spend it. Fifth, maximize available own source revenues, reduce fare evasion, increase advertising and concession revenue, maximize federal grants and revenue, and strategically sell and or lease the enormous portfolio of T-owned property. Finally, the panel's findings make clear, at least to me, that the T's current way of doing business needs to be remade before it makes sense to invest significant sums of outside new money into its operation. Again, I really want to thank the advisory panel for doing an outstanding job in a very short time. And I look forward to working with the legislature, the folks at the T, and the public to turn these very necessary reforms into reality.